Hello, welcome to this short video about how large powered flow hoods work. Large powered flow hoods are capable of accurately and easily measuring total system air flows in typical residential air conditioning systems, which can be well over 2,000 cubic feet per minute. Powered flow hoods that utilize large calibrated fans to match the system airflow can measure whatever airflow the flow hood fan is capable of. Most protocols allow measurement to be taken at the return grills. To begin, please imagine a large box that is open on two sides. If there is no flow into or out of the box, the pressure inside the box is equal to the pressure outside the box. In other words, the pressure is zero relative to outside, which we designate as RTO, relative to outside. Now imagine air naturally moving into and out of the box. If the pressure inside the box is zero relative to outside, you can rest assured that the airflow coming into the box is equal to the airflow coming out of the box. In other words, flow A equals flow B. This is also true if two fans are attached to the box and one is blowing air into the box and one is pulling air out of the box. If the pressure inside the box is zero relative to outside, the two fans must be moving the same amount of air. Furthermore, because the pressure inside the box is equal to outside the box, the two fans will move the same amount of air even if the box was taken away. This equal flow is even true if the fans are at the ends of long ducts and the ducts are reasonably airtight. If the pressure inside the box is zero relative to outside, the two fans must be moving the same amount of air. This fact allows us to use one fan to measure the flow of another. So let's apply this concept to a return grill. Our job is to measure the amount of air going into the return. Realize that airflow moving into the return is determined by the pressure difference in the duct, which is a negative number, and the pressure in the room, which is zero. For maximum accuracy, it is important that these two pressures not be changed by the test method. If we put a box over the return grill and attach a large fan to that box, we can use that fan to match the air being pulled out of the box by the return grill. When the fan is turned up to the point where the pressure inside the box is zero relative to the room, we know that the airflow into the box is equal to the flow going out of the box. This means that our fan has duplicated the airflow into the return. Also, the fact that the pressure in the box is the same as the pressure inside the room means that the airflow into the return grill has not been affected by the box. A good powered flow hood should have a way to hold the box firmly in place and use a calibrated fan flow meter device, for example, a good quality calibrated blower door fan with a manometer. The manometer should read the pressure inside the box and display the fan flow simultaneously. One of the big challenges of measuring system airflow at return grills is on systems with more than one return. The pressure and flow at one return can easily be affected by factors at the other return grill. Any measurement tool that restricts airflow will cause the air to shift to the other returns, unless multiple tools are used to measure all returns simultaneously. This includes passive flow hoods and flow grids. One of the advantages of a powered flow hood is that it recreates the normal operating pressure at the face of the return grill, which is zero, which means that the flow is unaffected by the measurement tool. Multiple returns can be measured separately and then the numbers can simply be added together to get an accurate total. This is a photo of a large powered flow hood in use on a ceiling return grill. This photo is a large powered flow hood in use on a low sidewall return grill. 